Well, we begin this morning with some health news as some vapes marketed as delivering an inhalable form of CBD in fact contain dangerous illegal synthetic marijuana. As part of an Associated Press investigation, a reporter bought five vape products at a Lexington store and sent them to a private lab licensed by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Three of the five contained synthetic marijuana. Now, Citadel student Jay Jenkins is among those who says he was hospitalized after vaping what he thought was CBD. He purchased the product in Lexington. He says he took two hits and began hallucinating and slipped into a coma. The AP had the cartridge Jenkins smoked, tested by a lab, and it came back positive for a synthetic marijuana compound linked to 11 deaths in Europe. I was actually in hell. I thought that I actually was already dead. I thought that we got into a car crash. The doctor said that if my roommate got me there two minutes later, there would have been nothing they could do. I would have been you know, in a casket by now. You're not missing anything by not trying it. It's, it's a big risk that you're taking when you decide to try something like that. Ten of the 30 samples taken by the Associated Press tested positive for synthetic cannabinoids. The lab that performed those tests say some of them are over 700 plus times as potent as THC, referring to the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana.